Should you consider changing your golf ball? Let's find out and let's do it now. Titleist, TaylorMade, Trixon, Callaway, sometimes even Mizuno, all make fantastic golf balls. But should you consider changing, and why? Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you consider clicking that subscribe button. If you like course vlogs, if you like club reviews, if you like bits of advice like this one on should you change a golf ball? When, how often, what kind should you use? Or if you just like tech reviews, you like to be up on the latest clubs, the latest balls, the latest pretty much anything golf related. Like I said, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. In today's video, we're talking about should you change your golf ball? I'm out playing with a couple of the guys. It's a little bit wet underfoot. I'm gonna get their opinion on what golf ball they use, how often they change it, and why they would consider changing. That t-shirt was all right as well, wasn't it? Okay, so the first point we're gonna address, and I want you guys to comment below, what golf ball do you use? I've been using a Titleist Pro V1X for quite a while, but I have been tampering with a tailor-made TP5. And I've quite enjoyed it, to be fair. And there was no reason for changing. I just fancied a bit of a change. I guess sometimes a change can be as good as anything, right? Rich, what golf ball do you use? A round one. A round one. And what's your handicap? 14. 14. So what golf ball would you normally use? Would you use a Pro V1 or anything? TaylorMade. TaylorMade TP5, TP5X? TP5. Any reason? Like the feel of like it? Like it. Yeah? Like it. Consider changing? I would do if it was better for me. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Price-wise, anything? No, they're roughly all about the same. Yeah? Good. So there you have Richard, a 14 handicapper. We'll use anything that's round. I'm joking. We'll use a TP5 golf balls, likes the feel of them, but would consider changing if something was going to work better for him. How often do you change your golf ball? Do you wait for something to go wrong? Or do you trust your golf ball and know that really it's the pilot and not the equipment? There's a point. The good old saying that sometimes a change is as good as anything. Change your clubs, gonna be expensive. Change your golf ball, not so expensive. So now I'm gonna to speak to another player. What handicap is it, Mark? Plus two? Yeah, plus two. Good, good handicap, yeah. So Mark, what golf ball do you use? Like this Pro V1. Any particular reason? Just like the feel of it and how it performs. Tireless Pro V1, likes the feel, likes how it performs. Do you like how much it costs? Not really, but Not really. who does? Exactly. Would you consider like a Lake Pro V1 ball or? Never before. No? No, just because. They don't feel the same, do they? No, and you don't know if it's been reconditioned or yeah, that's a great what point. Great point. If you're considering lake balls, don't know if it's been repainted, reconditioned. Would you consider changing your golf ball? No. 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 So Mark's Pro V1 loyalist for the last how long? 26 years. 26 years. Tells you how old he is. 34. <laughs> and he would not consider changing golf ball. Who leaves a rake like that? Hey. Well, my my advice there is why ain't bunker? Yeah. Would you consider using last year's Pro V1 if you got it cheaper on a deal? I mean, how often do the completely redesign a golf ball.
go. Does it make a difference what tall player plays what ball for you? Are you sucked in by all the marketing hype? Obviously the big player we're thinking about here is Tiger Woods and the reinvention of Bridgestone balls. I remember not long before Tiger started playing the Bridgestone golf ball, they were made obsolete from the UK market. All of a sudden, probably the greatest player that's ever played, I know I'm going to get some flack for that, but probably the best player that's ever played starts playing a Bridgestone golf ball. All of a sudden, bang, they're back on the UK market. Isn't that funny? Why would that be? And how long have Titleist had the campaign number one ball in golf? If you do get sucked in by the advertising and the marketing and things like that, you've got to remember these players are paid to use the golf ball. They might be using it because it's the best, but also they might not. Do you change your golf ball with the season? So when winter golf comes into play, especially here in the UK, do you go for a cheaper golf ball in case you lose it? Here in the UK, golf doesn't mean as much in the winter. It's more about just getting out there, having a walk, playing a few holes with your mates and getting around there. Keep swinging for the winter is a big thing that we hear a lot of. Because why lose a four pound golf ball in December? golf ball not even really mean anything to you would you use anything that you find I know a lot of people who if they find something which is white got dimples on it and looks like it's not five years old will stick it in the bag and use it and I suppose if you're a certain player in a certain handicap then why not But then we're trying to build confidence, consistency, and maybe a little bit of strategy as well. If you're using a different golf ball every time, it goes a different distance every time on your good shots, not even to mention your bad shots, it's gonna be very difficult to think your way around a golf course, isn't it? What about when you buy new golf clubs? Will new clubs react the same or differently with the standard old golf ball you were using? Should you maybe consider changing the golf ball when you change the clubs? Could it be a double whammy of success? Now who's thought of that one before? And I mean, we can talk ball advertising and player sponsorship and all the rest till we're blue in the face. Realistically. I would like to think if you're using a golf ball you can already afford, the only real time you're ever going to change that is if your financial situation changes or the ball just stops performing for you. That would be the big thing for me. Do I feel like it's not spinning like it used to do around the greens? Maybe I feel like it's not launching like it used to do off the tee. Is that a ball problem? Or is it a technician problem? Could it be a club problem? These are all things which I would be asking myself and that really is the only time I would maybe tinker with playing different golf balls because sometimes the grass isn't always greener is it? Although I must say when I went and played the other day I took out the TP5 golf ball and really enjoyed it. It was a bit refreshing almost when I was lining putts up to see a different line and a different manufacturer. Now some of you watching might think well that sounds utterly ridiculous but like I said right at the start of the video sometimes a change is pretty much as good as anything. Okay guys, that's it from me. I'm James Robinson here at Huddersfield Golf Club. If you like what you've seen, make sure you put the thumbs up, comment below, what golf ball are you using and are you considering changing? How often do you change your golf ball? If you wanna see some more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got loads of great content coming for you. The channel is growing brilliantly and I want you guys to be a part of it. See you soon.